Waffle TV and I'm here with the cast of Nothing to Show which is showing at the Space Venue on the Royal Mile. Hi guys! Hello! How are we today? Cold. Are you, I was going to say, are you cold? Are, can, we, can you see this Chris? They are partly naked. It's a good look. No wonder they're getting tickets and selling loads of tickets. It's brilliant. So please, for anyone that doesn't know, just tell us a little bit about the show. Um, okay, the show is a 50 minute show and basically what happens is we get um, a word from the audience uh, and then we improvise the show based on that word straight off. So every show is different. Every single one is different. So how do you find that? How do you, you're obviously very talented to come up with that every night. How do you find it? What are, the, what, what are some of the most interesting words you've gone so far? Poncho. Uh, I love poncho. Poncho. Shame. Shame. We had yeah. rainbow. Teapot. Uh, uh, we had aquarium. So yeah. Nice. And so does like one person take the word and then do some kind of skip with it and then you all join in? Um, or do you take a minute and you go, this is what we'll do, we'll kind of... Long form improv. So we take the word and then four people will create storylines or characters based on that word and then three of those storylines will be turned into kind of full plays. So it's three storylines going on almost at the same time throughout the format. The format we do is called The Herald and it's a well-known long format technique I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah, it really depends on the word. Some words are really amazing shows and sometimes it doesn't even matter about the words. Words that you can make homophones from or wordplay or something a bit different they're really fun. Yeah. Um, this is our third year here with this format and uh, in our second year, so last year, we had a word, we had a show called Platypi, which was really difficult because that's pretty much just the moral of platypus. There's not, not very far you can go with that, except maybe pastry. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. So how are you finding Edinburgh this year compared to other years? Are the audiences different? Are you getting different reactions or is it kind of the it's, same? It's difficult to say because we're actually uh, the cast, the troupe change every year because obviously we come from a university so there's only a couple of people who were here last year whereas yeah, whereas some of us have been here in different capacities, it's hard to make a direct comparison. I think basically every troupe is different but every troupe is amazing so it depends really on, on how hard you fly or how hard you market and get yourself out there really. I know that we've been really lucky in terms of, yeah, in terms really of numbers and that's probably because in previous years the troops have worked so hard to get us out there and get us known that we are then being recognised in the street as as to watch this stream, so it's good. So how do you find being semi-naked on the mile? Surprisingly <laughs> 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 comfortable. <laughs> do, you, do you still come out like when it rains? Yeah. Do you just yeah. have brollies and you're like, yeah, hi guys. Yeah, we wear ponchos. Yeah. ponchos. It's a really good look. You should try yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, kind of, you're kind of lucky that it's almost kind of warm, but it's still like bad weather. Yeah. That's different to previous years. <laughs> yeah. to compare it. And have you done this every year? Or is yeah. this just this year that you've decided to not wear clothes? But this format, the naked thing, that's three years this year. Wow. Do you find, I don't know, do you find it attracts a lot more people in or people will come up to you as opposed to you having to chuck things at them? Or do you find people get, do you find some people get a little bit intimidated and they go, oh, a naked person's going up to me, brother. Yeah, you, um, you get a lot of 15 year old girls go up to Tyler being like, hello, what are you doing? And then um, we get a lot of older men. Older gents. So, yeah. Yeah. I like your Which, shorts you know. and such like. <laughs> so yeah, no. So tell us very quickly, why the viewers of Waffle TV should come see your show? Because we're really funny! <laughs> it's just a really great night out. We don't take ourselves too seriously. It's really, really good fun. Uh, it's different every single night. Um, so you can come again and again and every night you'll have a really fun show and a really great time. And it depends on the audience. You know, If we get a good audience, it's a good show because we work with them. Yeah. And that's every night at 5 past 8? Yes. Except Sundays. Sunday. Except Sundays. Didn't say that earlier. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've been Rebecca for Waffle TV. Stay tuned for more videos and interviews.
What's happening? Yeah. 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 